Hello students, today is Wednesday, so that means that we are going to have an art video today. Today's lesson is going to be really simple. We are going to make an ice cream cone and we are going to use lines and patterns, which is the element of arts, I mean the element of lines that we're going to use in arts. Next week we're going to learn a new element that we have not yet gone through in class and we haven't learned yet, but Today we're reviewing this one and I'm going to teach you how to make this ice cream cone and we're going to do it together and we're going to add patterns and make it look really cool. So I have my paper here ready to draw and the first thing I'm going to do is a curved line and I'm going to have a straight line going across my paper. I'm going to make another curve at the end of that line and I'm going to connect it together to make a rounded rectangle. Now I'm going to make two lines going to the right of my paper and I'm going to close up those lines together and connect them and that is the bottom of my cone. So you can see it better. It kind of looks like a little pot for flowers. Little flower pot. I did start using my pencil first to draw my cone so because I did that I'm now going to be going over my drawing with a pen or you can use a marker if you want. Now we're going to start working on the first layer of your ice cream and you are going to make a curve on the top of the ice cream cone and you are going to make waves and you're going to try to make it look like it's different. It's not going to be straight. It's going to have a curve in the middle so then it's going to look like a swirl at the end. Now I'm going to start working on the second layer and that is going to look similar to the first one but maybe not as much swirl. It's just going to have rounded corners and it's going to be like a round rectangle. The top and last topping of your ice cream is what we're going to be drawing now. The top of it is going to be triangular, it's going to be pointy and curved so it's going to look like a swirl. I'm not sure if you can see it, but remember that the top layer is the smallest, so the second layer is like the medium size, the bottom layer is the biggest one, and the top layer is the smallest one. So now you're going to see me outlining my ice cream with my pen. I'm going to start now adding some patterns on my ice cream cone. You can make different types of patterns if you want to make straight lines, curves, zigzags, loops, waves. It is up to you. If you want to make a curved zigzag straight line, then you can do that and make it as unique as you would like it to be. I am going to make every section of my ice cream and my ice cream cone different. So every section with the bold lines that we made with the drawings, I am going to make different types of line and I am going to add different types of colors. So I am going to speed up my drawing but you will see what it will look like in the end. is going to look like after I finish adding some lines and patterns with my lines. What I'm going to do now is add some color and I'm going to also speed that process up. This is my complete 
nicely completed ice cream cone with the colors and the patterns i finished drawing my ice cream cone and i love it it has some fun colors i did blue and orange for the bottom of the cone and a tippy top i try to make it look a little bit fiery like a fire and i added some yellow red and orange i hope that you like my ice cream cone and my video so if you want to show me and share your ice cream cone your funky looking ice cream cone with the different line patterns then definitely email it to me if you need my email it will be at the end of this video i hope to see you guys soon i will be posting a video for spanish tomorrow there will be no video for friday since it's good friday i will be seeing you guys on monday for art again bye